Okay, now for this video, what we're going to be doing is making the end caps. Um, well, at the start, we're going to make the end caps, and then afterwards, we're actually going to finish off with drilling the hole in there. But that might be a separate video depending on how long this actually takes. So, also, uh, normally we make these out of um, aluminium and nylon, but today I'm going to be making it out of brass because I haven't, I don't use brass very often. I'd like to try making the end caps, I should say soft faces, sorry, out of brass. Now it's important as well setting the machine, though brass is quite a high speed steel as well, so setting to as fast as it'll go again, which is A, 2. That's all good, let's give it a test. Nice, it's running really nicely. So, got my carbide bit again as well today. What are you willing to lose? You cover your wounds, but underneath them, a million voices in your head that whisper, Stop now. Another twist of the knife, a turn of the screws, it's all in your mind, and it's fighting you on yourself. Storm is coming, wow, kid. What you gonna do now? It's your reflection. actually got that perfectly in the middle there on the chuck at 20 millimeters so um, and we want half in half out so twisting in we've got a 50 millimeter head over here so we know that's easily going to make it in um, without hitting well actually we want to take a little bit more off but we know that it's more or less going to make it all the way into the middle of that although taking into account the actual the thread of the handle it probably won't so we might have to face a little bit more off after but that's okay so now we're taking it down to 14 millimeters in diameter and we're starting off at quite a bit larger than that so we'll do some quite large cuts we're starting off at 34 mil so we're going to be doing some quite large cuts to get it down to 14 and then afterwards we're actually going to end up um, doing the outside diameter for the um, Sorry. So we're doing that diameter at the moment. When we do that one, we'll actually do it with it in the head so that way we can get it perfect. Um, and it should look really, really nice. Are you gonna die today? Make it out alive. You gotta come to the monster in your head and then you'll fly, fly, Phoenix fly. It's time for a new empire. Go bury your teammates. Okay, let's have a double check where we're at. Start at 35-ish, and we're already down to 19. I think we did four or five passes then, so we're pretty close. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is do my last cut all at once. Get that at zero. And then we need to take off five millimeters. We might just do four and get it close. is acceptable. Awesome. So we can cut this out. I'm going to do our aluminium head.
go all the way in because I need to actually clear out the threads down the bottom but that's actually looking not too bad at the moment so we better do up our aluminium one So see how they're both only going to that point because I need to take off the inside there and use the parting tool for that. So we'll take them both out. Also I need to put a 45 degree angle chamfer on it. I might even put a band-aid on so I'll stop getting blood on stuff. Parting tool.
yeah, we got you, yeah, we can never be humble. We go shine, move a scene when we enter. Pyong sent to the chart and Kobe, you don't even have a medal. Smell like a tin spirit, you gold and Lord Bonner. Pick up a weapon and face it, I'm with Donald Marciana. More goody, my mana got you and Lord Chiana. Pull the chart, got your mushy, that's why we gotta rise. Hold me, God damn it, I know my team's in my tattoo. Here is the moment of truth. Oh, she's tightening up a little bit. You can see the thread's actually looking a little bit rough now. I don't think I touched it with the parting off tool. Let's have a look. There we go. We've still got the same gap, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to maybe try a little bit harder, put it in the vise. I don't wanna tear the thread out though, so I'm trying to be a little bit gentle. So I'm only using my hand, I'm not using any other instruments. Okay, so as you can see, I've ended up getting the brass head on and the aluminium head that we made on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is actually go over these and just flush them up so that we don't have any of these overhangs on the edge there. Um, we might also play with the actual um, length of them as well on the lathe. So I'm going to start with the brass head because that is the widest. See there as well, like I knocked the 45 degree angle off the brass side, and that was simply because I had to make it smaller, um, and I should have actually made it um, flush first before doing that. Um, so now let's take it out and let's have a look. Like I've said previously, I actually like my soft faces being a little bit longer, so for me those are perfect, but you can obviously face down and get the other ones closer. Um, I could also actually take a little bit more off and get rid of some of this room, but I actually don't mind that. Um, gives it a little bit of character. Um, now what we're going to do um, for my next video is we're going to put a hole in the middle. Um, I'm actually going to make that as a separate video, so you guys can learn how to use say, an edge finder, and then as well as learning how to put an, a drill bit directly in the middle of a bit of metal like this on the mill here at Renella East College. So thank you for watching.